Are you here to see the new Roborock S7 Max V Ultra? I know it's a mouthful and this is a mouthful robot vacuum mop. I'm gonna give you all my pros, my cons, and some facts about this and show it off to you. The unboxing, setup, all the cool things that come with this. Is it good? Is it bad? Let's get into this. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm Zachus and I do honest reviews here. I buy things for me and then I come and tell you if it's good or bad, why I think it's good, why I think it's bad, pros and cons, all that stuff. So you can make better decisions with your money and also discover things that are cool, exciting, make your life easier, make your life a little bit more fun, all that stuff. That's why you wanna hit that subscribe button, become part of Zachus Nation. It's free to do so, cancel at any time. And we're here to just have fun and you'll get notified first when I put up cool new videos like this one. And I've got things for men, I've got connected home, I've got all these cool, items that you want to know about, you want to see, you want to find out about. So be sure and hit that subscribe button and the like button so people know this video is awesome and comment below any questions you have. Let's get into this. So I just got the box. I ran and got it because I wanted to get it and show it to you guys. I'm going to do a little different on this video. I'm going to show you it in action with some pros and cons for those of you who don't like a long video. And then later on, I'll show the unboxing. I'll get into more details about it mopping, cleaning up, tests I did, and even showing you some stuff. So let's just get into it so you can see. For those of you who don't like long videos, you can see the pros and cons, see it in action get a closer look, and then we'll get into more detail. Everything is down in the description right below the video so you can see the links to jump around to different chapters because it is a long video. And I hope you guys enjoy. This is me filling up the clean water and putting the fluid in. You can see the max line, really easy, holds a lot of water, more than the X1 D-Bot um, EchoVac Omni. So if you haven't seen that video, check that video out. Here it is getting started. It's going to do its thing. So this one's a little different than the other ones. It has a front side that does all the charging and emptying the vacuum. And then the mop is on the back. So it turns itself around, goes back in, wets itself, fills it up with clean solution or empties out the dirty water, all that stuff in the back. And then and then goes back out, turns itself around and charges and all that stuff. So it's kind of cool, a little different. So one of the big pros here for me is it vacuums carpet without having to do anything. Most of them will vacuum, but you have to pick it up, take the mop heads off, which is annoying. See how fast that was? Then it's like, boom, it's ready to go. It's going to do a quick map right here. So that's a huge thing for me. It has technology that sucks the mop up and goes over the carpet. So it does everything. It even went over wires and cords in my studio. It never got stuck. That was a huge plus for me. I wanted something I didn't have to touch for 30 days that would mop, vacuum, clean everything. Boom, boom, boom. All I have to do is empty the dirty water out and put clean water in and that's it. It's got a 60 day vacuum bin, 30 day mopping, depending on how much you mop, maybe less or more um, and how dirty it is and all that kind of stuff. And it has an amazing 97.9 .9 debris removal. I'll show that later at the end of the thing. You'll see how clean the dustpan is. It's really crazy cool. And it also gets closer to the edges when it's mopping and vacuuming than I've ever seen on any vacuum that I've tested so far. So I was really impressed with that. I really thought I was gonna like the EchoVac D-Bot X1 Omni Black the best. And that was gonna be my thing, my one that I used. But I'm so glad I tried these out because this one ended up being my favorite so far. It is just really beautiful. I thought it would be kind of ugly with its utilitarian design, but it's really nice looking. It looks great. And most of all, it just works. It's really, really um got this crazy cool mapping and it mops really good vacuums really good i don't have to worry is it only going to do the hardwood and tile and not the carpet it's really careful as you can see around furniture it gets under furniture it's um just really i'm super super impressed now i'm going to show you guys it 
uh, cleaning itself a little bit so you can hear that because some people complain about the noise and want to hear the noise to see if it's loud or not. It's a little noise, but not bad and it doesn't take long. Starting to wash the mop. Now it detects if it gets dirty, it goes back, cleans its mop and then continues on cleaning. But you can see it's not that bad. Now I'm going to show you it going into charge mode and emptying the dustpan out and you can hear how loud that is. I think it's about normal. You want it to be kind of loud because you want it to be sucking that stuff out of that bin leaving nothing behind. Get it all into that bag. The J7 Plus is much louder. It's like a jet engine going off. But that's about all my pros. My cons are it doesn't have the heating element. You have to buy that separate. And I'm also going to do a barbecue soft stain test. So you'll get to see that. It doesn't have clean zones, only stay away zones. And um, I had to do several steps to get to the security camera, which I wasn't impressed with. I'll give you a little bit more cons later on, but here's the unboxing. Let's get into this. You're going to want to see it up close and personal. So this is the coolest thing right off the bat. They tell you what, how it's boxed. I've never seen that before. I love that. You can see how it's put together. If you need to re box it up or, or how you're going to take it out. Just super impressive. The instructions are really clean, really simple. Show you how to maintain it, how to set it up. Super impressive. The it's really, really thought out. This is the little tray that you're going to connect. This is not like the Robo Rock S7 Plus. If you saw that video where you just screw everything together, this comes out as one unit and that little tray pops in. You get one extra vacuum bag and that's pretty good. I mean, most of them don't even give you that. So I was impressed with that. So you have about um, 120 to 180 days of vacuuming. Here we go, we're pulling it out. Look at that beautiful red, I love that. It's got the cameras up front and all these sensors, charging sensors. Um, the mop pad is built in. I'm pointing right now to all the sensors because I'm blown away with just how many sensors there are. I'm gonna take the mop pad off. It's just two little buttons, push it, slides off. Really solid, high quality, should last you a long time. And even on the back, it shows you how to replace it, change it out. You can see it's just really, really nice. And it's got a lot bigger pad than most of the spinners have. And then if something does get stuck, it's really easy just to pop this off. I wanted to show you guys that. Just pop it back on. And um, you can just look at this thing. It's heavy. It's super premium. It's just crazy. One thing I don't like is that this is screwed on and it doesn't pop on and off. And there's only one sweeper. But I do like that it's all um, rubbery instead of the hair fibers that easily break down. This will last longer and be more sturdy to get stuff into the vacuum. Here you can see all the sensors, like tons and tons of sensors. That lets it get close to the edges and lets you really, um, the vacuum know where it's at, what it's doing, what it's not supposed to bump into, all that kind of stuff. Look at that beautiful red. I love the design of this, the branding, super strong. Two cameras, you got a LiDAR, you got your security camera, that QR code you're gonna use later on. Your standard three buttons on the top. On the back here is your water for the mopping. It's filtered and everything. It handles the dirty water and the clean water. Um, really crazy cool design. Just look how beautiful and premium that looks. Super, super nice. Super easy. What I love about this is it's just all do it, does everything without you having to touch it. You fill up the water tank, put the vacuum bag in and boom. For 30, 60 days, you're good to go. You don't have to do anything. It just takes care of your house, which is what you want, right? That's why you're paying this kind of money. And um, you can see how easy this is to pop out if you ever need to. You shouldn't ever need to, but if you do, I wanted to show you guys how easy it was. This just lifts up and this is where your dustbin is. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you if it's clean or dirty because um, some of them, you know, don't suck everything out. 
So we'll see. It also has a HEPA filter on top, which is really easy to replace. I replace mine every six months or so, but it really depends on how much you vacuum, kids, pets, all that kind of stuff. And you'll use these three buttons to turn it on, set your Wi-Fi up and security camera, but they're all pretty standard. You have your power on, you have your home, which goes back to dock, and you have your clean button. And here's the cord. I love the cord is a light gray instead of black. It's such a very thoughtful thing to do because it blends into most walls and doesn't stand out. And so you'll see later that it's just really a little touch of just genius that most people don't think about. And then here's the docking station. It just comes out one big unit all together. And um, there's some tape on it to keep things in place and the styrofoam in the wash tray just to keep everything steady and not moving around. This is the vacuum bin, just easily pops off. It's all HEPA, it's all enclosed. For those of you who don't like bags, they do have an option that's bagless that you can buy as an accessory. I like this because uh, HEPA is really clean. You know, it seals up, no dust is getting in the air when you change it out, when you dump it into the trash, it's all sealed up. The bag itself is a filter and um, just a lot of benefits to this, which is why I, even on traditional vacuum cleaners, I prefer this over bagless. But if you like bagless, they do have an option for that, which I thought was really cool because some people don't want to have to replace the bags or bother with the bags or anything like that. And it just pops on there. And then um, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. I mean, it's just so well designed. And the, this is the clean water tank. This is the dirty water tank. Easy to identify both by the label and the coloring. The dirty water is a little bit darker, foggy gray. And uh, you just pop it open. Wanted to give you guys a look inside how it works. This is where the dirty water will go. You'll dump it out, clean it out every now and then. But, um, yeah, I mean, just snaps on, seals up really nice. Make sure that you can, um, I just, I know when I'm looking to buy a product, especially expensive product, I want to see it up close. So that's why I do these videos so that you can see every little detail. Some of you just want to hear the pros and cons and boom, you've made your decision. Great. And some of you want to see the quality, the build, you know, when you get up close and it's not a commercial and it's real, I'm shooting this with my iPhone, just got it out of the box for me. I'm not paid or sponsored to, to, for, by Robo Rock. They don't know who I am. This is the clean water. You can see it pulls from the bottom. So it gets all the water. It's, it's the same uh, as Echovac X1. They're both designed pretty similar. This actually holds more water than the Echovac X1, which I was really surprised about because it looks smaller. But when I looked at all the specs, it actually holds more water. It does have a 5100 PA suction. It runs for 180 minutes or three hours before it needs to recharge. Um, it has a fast tracking map that has an amazing 3D map and all this stuff I'll show you at the end when we get into the app part. Um, but it is super, super fast. It maps my whole house in like 30 minutes, which is similar to the X1. Um, so I'm really impressed by the technology there. This is really cool because it has a brush that cleans the tray here and the mop. Where on the X1, you have to get a brush out, you have to push a button, it puts clean water in, you have to scrub it out manually. This takes care of itself. This is another huge pro for me. Here you can see I'm just snapping on that extra piece, like the runway for the, the uh, vacuum. One of the huge cons was here with the cord on the back. Every vacuum I've ever had, the cord fit really well, but this is so shallow that it barely holds the cord. You can see I'm having to really struggle and it just pops out. It's not really in there securely, but I do love the light gray because um, even though it doesn't match the product, when you're looking at it face on, you'll see that it blends into the wall and kind of blends away. But you can see this is a real problem. They made it too shallow. They should have made it twice as deep so that the cord could fit in there nicely. And um, that's a huge con for some people. It doesn't really bother me because it still held the cord out of sight. But you can see it's just kind of like not as nice and neat as it should be. But look at this. 
look how that plug just kind of blends away and your eye focuses on the robot. You don't see that ugly black cord sticking out. That is a huge pro for me. And it's just, I love when they have the attention to detail, even the little tiny things like that. I love most of all that this is a all do it by itself. Like I don't have to touch it. it. I don't have to have two robots, one for carpet, one for hardwood or hard floors. I can have one robot that mops and vacuums and takes care of my downstairs, doesn't get stuck, doesn't worry about little things, brilliant mapping with even pictures of um, obstacles like shoes or a table that you can click on in the app, which I'll show you later when we get into the app and how to set that up. Here's the barbecue stuff. I know you guys um, have always asked me, did you do a test? Did you do a test? Did it really clean? So I dripped some barbecue across the floor, left it there for a couple days. And then when I ran it, I wanted to see how well it would do with something sticky and really something that even a mop, you'd have to kind of push and rub on a lot. And I was really impressed. Like after two passes, it almost got it up. And I, I think that's pretty good for something like this. Like obviously when you get a big mess, you're still gonna have to struggle. This is just to do maintenance and mop. But to get that barbecue sauce up, I thought was pretty good. Here it is in the studio with all my wires. And I wanted to see, would it get stuck? Would it start being like, I can't get out? Would it roll over the wires, push the wires or just avoid them altogether and, and not clean that area. And again, I was just super impressed after the Roborock S7 Plus that I was so pissed off because it got stuck on little tiny things. I was expecting this to do the same thing, but it is, I mean, rocking and rolling. I mean, look at this. It doesn't care. It just goes around and does its job. I just, I normally wouldn't let it in my studio, but I just thought I needed to show you guys and I yeah, test it out, put it through its paces. It's so beautiful, so well designed, heavy, premium, everything you could ask for it. And it vacuums the floor and the carpet, doesn't get stuck, just kind of manhandles everything, goes through everything really well. Super, super impressed. This is my choice. Out of all the ones that I've tried, this is the one I'm gonna use unless something better comes out. I mean, there are a few cons, but nothing that I can't get past. Um, I'm just super, super impressed with this. I love the app. I love the accessories. And uh, <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm not looking for something delicate. So that's what that's where I'm at. And then of course, um, you can see here, it next to the J7 Plus by iRobot, Roomba, now Amazon. You can see the cord there, how the light gray cord makes such a difference. It's so crazy how it blends away compared to the iRobot. And check out my video on easyplant.com if you're looking for plants for your home. I just put a video up on that, it's really cool. Now I'm gonna empty out the dirty water so you can see how it really did clean and what it looks like. You can see how much is there. Um, I was super impressed. I mean, it just really handled everything. And I love that I don't have to really mess with it. Look at that. It's really cleaning. I mean, you can't lie. That's dirty. I didn't make that dirty. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy. And I just wanted to show you guys, you know, up close, you know, so it's not, it's not a commercial. Let's get into the app. This app is super impressive, super easy to use has some really cool features like matrix, quick mapping, pictures of your obstacles and stuff, and then everything you could want. You can find it in the iOS app store or the Google uh, Play Store for Android. Just like a typical app, you gotta register, sign up, put your username, password, email address, all that stuff in, and register it. Do all the legal stuff, notification stuff. And then you want to pick your robot. So you're going to scan that QR code at the front on the camera. Wi set up your Wi-Fi, scan the barcode. It finishes setting up Wi-Fi. And then you 
selected your thing. If it doesn't work, you select it from a list. You want to select the Max V Ultra. And then it just shows you all the modes. If you have pets, lets you turn things on here. And then it's ready to quick map. And I told it to go quick map and look how fast. I mean, it's just moving along here so quickly. I'm super impressed with the X1 and with this, how fast they map. With the uh, iRobot and the Shark and some of the other ones I've tried, the mapping is so slow. My IA and my uh, J7 Plus all took like two days to map. Look at this. It's just moving along with its cameras and stuff. You'll have to update it. That's pretty normal for anything you buy these days. It's pretty fast. You run the updates. And then once the map is done, you'll have rooms. You'll d decide what those rooms names are. You have your 3D mapping, which is new and premium. I mean, you're paying a lot, so you should get some cool little features, right? But this is better than the X1. It really shows a real pretty close, you know, of your of your floor plan. And here's a matrix. It like starts scanning all the things. It's so cool. Look at this. It like builds out your floor in an even like more 3D way. And you can actually say, don't clean under that table or go clean under that table. A um, lot of cool features there. A lot of things to explore. Um, just super impressed. It's pretty typical dividing the rooms up, naming the rooms, all that's pretty standard nowadays, but it's still really easy to do. And this will help you control the vacuum during scheduling and with voice control and all that kind of stuff. Um, here you can set the different intensities of the vacuum and mop. It has several different levels, which I thought was pretty impressive. I didn't find that in the X1. So high intensity mopping is just mopping, no vacuuming. Um, and it does like most premium mops do. It has, it shows you the path. It shows you the language of the voice control, stuff like that. This is really impressive, like a fancy car. It actually monitors all the pieces and tell you how many times they were used, what their lifespan is, so you know when to replace it. I mean, that's like a fancy luxury car that's like telling you constantly if you need new tires, if your tire's low, you know, if you're veering off lane, if your filters, you know, needs to be changed, stuff like that. So I was really impressed with that. The scheduling is super easy, typical set when you want it to start how often what rooms what you want to do you can easily delete it turn it on turn it off all the normal stuff here here's your google and alexa assistants pretty easy to set up routines schedule things speak to it all the normal stuff just connecting through your own login with google and amazon here is the store right in the app which i thought was cool you can buy accessories there's the heating element i talked about earlier that you have to buy separately super pissed and that's a con for me that that's not built in to the docking station like the x1 i think it looks ugly and it's absolutely necessary because you don't want that mop to get wet and funky you want it to dry off you know but there's the uh, bagless option. You can get your HEPA options, your brush options, use different brushes depending on what you need. Just really easy. Of course, you can get all this on Amazon and other places, but I just thought it was really cool to see. And you can see as it's vacuuming, what it's doing, where it is, how it's doing. This is where I told it to mop the kitchen. And here is where you can see the obstacles. It takes pictures of the shoes and the different things. And here's the security camera. We're about to wrap this up. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. And I'm going to get into a little bit more of the cons and stuff. The security camera you can do remotely. If you're out of town, you can drive it around. You can see every little detail of this thing. I hope this helps you with the app. And let's get into the cons. And my con list. I know you want to get into this. There are some cons. And everybody wants to know the cons because because that is an honest review. You need to know both sides of the picture so you can make a decision, right? So here's the comments. It doesn't have voice assistant. This was really big for me. You can use Alexa and Google, but you have to set it up just like any normal robot. And you have to say Alexa or Google execute, Robo Rock, Max, View, like all these words, right? And one thing that Echo Bot, the Echovac DBot X1 Omni has a built in voice assistant called Yiko, and it was just really easy. I could just say, hey, Yiko, clean the kitchen, and she would just be like, boom. It was a super, super premium thing and a really easy thing to use and talk to her 
hey, you could pause, hey, you could go back to your docking station, I'm on a phone call or something like that. Another con was it doesn't have a heating element. The EchoBot, um, the D-Bot EchoVac X1, you know, has a heating element that, that dry, a drying element that dries off its mop pads after usage. So it doesn't build up mold or get, you know, icky in there. You have to buy an extra a uh, drying thing for $90. It's not expensive, but you're already paying so much. And to have to spend another $90 to do something it should do is pretty much, you know, a con for me. I think it should be built in. I mean, you've already built this amazing system that does everything. Why leave that out? Another con for me was it doesn't have clean zones. This is big for me. Not, not a deal breaker, but it's big for me because I like to like set places on the map that are, are, get extra dirty and be able to say, go do that or schedule it to be clean just that space. Um, maybe it's right in front of the sink or where you're prepping a lot of stuff or maybe it's under the dining room table, but it doesn't have clean zones. It only has no way zones and, and digital barriers or invisible barriers. Another con for me was it didn't do well with cords. It, it actually rolled over cords and it didn't get stuck or anything, but it did, it did pull cords, it pulled things. It wasn't as cautious as some of the other vacuums I've tried. But two, it's kind of a pro or con because at least it doesn't just like completely avoid the area and get all wussy, it just goes for it. But you know, you're gonna have to set some no zones around stuff that you don't want it to touch, which is what I did. My last con is that it took a little extra steps to get the security camera on. With the X1 uh, D-Bot from EchoVac, you just click the camera button in the app and you could immediately see things, control it. With this one, with the RoboRock, you could not uh, access the security camera to see where it was, see it driving around, all that kind of stuff, without like, you had to hold all three of these buttons down here. You gotta take them with your fingers and like hold them down until the robot says um, remote access on. And then you can like get to it. I thought that was a little much. Like why not just turn it on or have it ability to turn it on in the app? Like why do you need to, to do that? I guess it's a security feature, but that was a little pricey for me. And I guess my last con would be that it's just expensive. $1,500. $1,500, but you gotta look at it. what does it do? I mean, it has a huge water tank and um, dirty water tank and then a 60 day uh, HEPA bag filter that seals everything up. It's got HEPA filters. It's going out for 30 to 60 days in your home and just taking care of stuff for you. You don't, you can schedule it. You, um, you know, how often you ever want it, it just goes out. I usually schedule it when I'm away so I don't have to hear it. But this one is actually quieter, I think, than any of the other vacuums I've tried, or it's right on par with the X1 and definitely quieter than the J7 Plus when it cleans itself out. The J7 Plus sounds like a jet engine went off in the house. But again, that's a premium feature because you want it to do that. You want it to um, suck all that stuff out of the bin because the bin is, um, that you don't want this bin to get full of stuff. You want it to suck out everything and clean that out. And you can see how clean that bin is. It's been vacuuming for two or three days since, uh, that's it for me. I hope this video helped you make a decision and really see how beautiful this, this is. Um, I'm really, really impressed with it. I thought I was going to stick with the Echo Bot, uh, Echo Vac D Bot X1 Omni, another pff, word salad in your mouth. Um, I really liked the design of it and thought it was really nice, but my huge con on that was it wouldn't do carpet. And so now that I've tried this and I've, I've seen the look of it, I've used the app, I'm just super impressed with it. I think it's the king right now of robot vacuum mops, uh, you know being the whole unit and everything. The J7 Plus is still an awesome unit. The i8 is still an awesome unit. Uh, I'm sure the 9S is still an awesome unit. And there's probably some other ones that are really well out there. So if your budget is less, you know, there's other things out there. We're gonna be doing the Nawa 2. They've got a new one coming out called the Frio, and you're gonna get to see it. It mops and vacuums too, and has a self cleaning system. Oh, wait a minute. One more positive pro on this RoboRock S7. Heavy duty premium vacuum. 
um, is it cleans not only itself, it's mop pads, and it cleans its tray out. And then X1, you have a brush in your accessory kit. Check out that video. I'll put it somewhere here and down below. Um, you have an accessory kit with a brush and you, you have to push a button and it puts clean water down in the tray. You have to brush out because it, it gets grimy down there. And then you have to clean the brush off and it empties the dirty water out. Why? This does it all for you. It has a brush that slides across and cleans the bottom and the top. It's really awesome. I can't say enough about this. I'm super impressed with it. And I thought I wasn't going to love the look of it, but I love the look of it too. So. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber because you want to do get notified first when I put up cool videos like this. Become part of the Zacchaeus Nation. It's free to do so. Cancel at any time. And I promise you, you're going to see cool videos like this and fun stuff and stuff you're going to love to do. And to all my subscribers, I love seeing you. Thank you for watching. I love all of your beautiful faces. I hope wherever you are, you're having a beautiful day. And I will catch you hopefully in the next Zacchaeus video. Peace.